The last man to bear your crest died over a thousand years ago. He had no heir. I told you I found the son of man. No. No, on the raft you saved me. On the raft? You saved me. You fought beside me. Against your enemy. And I. Tell me your name. I've been awake since before the breaking of the first silence. In that time, I've had many names. Not real. Come back, get a real come back. What do you feel now? Get out. My mind. Please, sister. Your task was hunting the cell. My task was to ensure peace. But I learned that was Salmon's task as well. No. He was seeking a power. Not to destroy Middle Earth, but to heal it. You needn't lie to them. You simply let the work proceed. Do you remember what I whispered to you under this very tree? Touch the darkness once more. It's not, it's not what you said. My brother is dead. Because of you. Mm -hmm. You know the truth. After our victory, you said, whatever I've done before, I could be free of it. You now. deceived me. I told you the truth because you knew that our past meant nothing. Weighed against our future. Or you really thought that you could repent yourself, but still you have this bad ideas, you know, bad way of thinking. That was a good one. You would make me a tyrant. Mm. I would make you a queen. And you, my king. The dark lord. No dark. It's not with you at my side. Bind me to the light. And I bind you to power. Together, we can save this little earth. Save? Yes. He still has these ideas, you know, about healing it. That's the issue. And that is why I will never be at your side. You have no choice. Without me, your people will fade. What will they do when you tell them that you are my ally? Sauron lives! Because of you! You have died because of me! Yeah. You're joining? You know what she said to everyone? Oh, your friendship, guys. What happened by that stream? You spoke to me once of a mistake. When you said you would not wake again. You are making that promise very difficult to keep. Very easy, it would not require trust. We must make three. Three? Why three? Three for the three elves. One will always corrupt. Two will divide. With three, there is balance. How has we forged today? Must be for the elves. Look. Untouched by other hands. I need gold and silver from Valinor. You're gonna give. True creation requires. Sacrifice. I called you something else. You stared. You knocked on that new wise one. Oh. Wizard. See, with my smile, you can tell that. I'm okay with him being on the earth. Sounds a bit like an adventure. Nah. Well, that was just a journey. No adventures. You must be 
must be shared. I think I've had about as much adventure as any Hereford could ever hope for. All fresh grass, no trolls! They're gonna need them! All down again, look like. Oh, no, upside down. Sorry, Mal, I don't know if it's steep slopes and brick and brambles for weeks. Why are you going to try and find them? Why, yes! You're letting him go? He needs you, and you belong out there. Oh. Okay. You're gonna see each other again, you're gonna see each other again, you're gonna see each other again. Find where the river runs, where the sparrows learn their songs. I would love her. I know you'd be careful. <laughs> no. You'd be bold. Nah. And she's proud of that. Come on, Nori. And this show is really good at making friendships. Elrond with Durin, with Galadriel, Nori, with Poppy, with the stranger. I turn around, I won't ever be able to leave. Well then, perhaps it would be best if you lead on. We're not to mention I have to name the tree to go. Oh, there it is. Are you sure? Not entirely. Mm. It's mouse smell on the air this way. When in doubt, better not brandy food. Just so much? Always falling in doubt. Yes, 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 he's gone down that it. Stop! the nine months you know for the lens You're gonna understand by yourself. Three rings for the elves. You know the truth, but she was not the one to tell you the truth. I'm gonna keep the secret for her.
Guys, I told you during the intro that I wanted three things during this episode. To see the forge, we saw it and more than that, I'm gonna come back to it later. For the stranger's identity to be revealed, 90% sure that it was Gandalf. It was. For Sauron's identity, you know, to see Sauron and surely at 90% it was Albrand. It was. So I expected things that happened during this episode. I knew it. I prepared myself for it. But I also predicted that it would be amazing and impressive to see the forge and the fact that we are discovering like the rings, the three elvish rings that are forged right now during this episode. I was not expecting that and it's such a good surprise, you know, a big surprise, a big thing to see it happening like that and the fact that Galadriel is giving the sword of her brother for that, that was also a good idea, you know, a sacrifice that she she's giving for that and it means also for the, the vow that she took, the promise that she made to her brother, like it means a lot for that, so it's a good thing. And I'm all for it. For Gandalf part, we knew that it was Gandalf since the second one, you know, that he appeared on screen. But I'm seeing it since a long time to make an entire narrative arc around that mystery, around who is the stranger. If since second one, we had the answer and at the end, you're just confirming it like the reveal of his identity, it's not a surprise, it's not a real reveal and in fact it was not a mystery since the beginning. For sure it's gonna be a little disappointing but it's not the answer who is disappointing, it's the quest who was. Do you understand what I mean? The quest was. But I think that you saw also with my face during all of these moments with Gandalf, with that reveal, that I liked these moments and that it was great to have this moment, you know, with these three enemies, to have him fighting them, killing them, to have all of these moments also after that with Nori, him seeing all of this stuff, for sure it was Gandalf lines and stuff, so all of that felt good, was good, I liked it, I'm gonna like to follow Gandalf's journey for sure, so I'm glad Again, it's not the answer who is disappointing, it's the quest that they made around it, around his identity, who he is. In fact, it was not a quest, in fact, it was not a mystery, in fact, we were all right since the second one when we suspected him to be Gandalf. Just okay, you know, at the end, it's like that, but it's great. And also, all of the Nori part of that narrative arc worked well on me. I cried, <laughs> so it worked well on me. I'm glad that the girl is gonna follow him because it means that he's not gonna be alone and also we're gonna have really an adventure with these two friends and these goodbyes were really emotional, so it was cool. So really, the narrative arc about the forge, it went well, further than what I expected and it was so good, so great, I loved it. The stranger narrative arc, it came to the conclusion that we were all expecting, so it was not really a mystery, but it was well done and it was cool and I enjoyed it and it worked on me well and all. Now let's talk about what is bothering me for sure. I announced to you why, what during the intro, so it's not gonna be a surprise for you if during this review I'm telling you that I'm not okay with our brand being so wrong. Again, I know that it was written like that into the books, that it's logical, that we all saw it coming also, like I know it, I know that since episodes they are preparing us for Albrand being Sauron with all of this story and with what Sauron's story is supposed to be. I know that. I'm just telling you that by making it like that, by making Albrand character like that, by creating that epic romantic story around the king of the Southlands that everyone was expecting about that person who didn't want to be the chosen one and who accepted it, all of what they created around Albrand. It could have been a good story really, but to transform it, you know, to make it in fact Sauron's background, 
it's not great for our brand and what it could have been and it's so not great for so long because it's a question of feelings it's really a question of what I want to feel when I see so wrong on screen when I see so wrong on screen I want to be frightened I want to be impressed I want to be excited I want to you know like it's so wrong it, again it's not a question about the facts it's not a question about his background you know the facts of his background it's a question about all of what was created around this character around the aura you know really the thing that is supposed to make me feel and right there at the end you know I mean all of that story with Galadriel and right there at the end when I see him now I mean when I see our brand with not our brand with so wrong I'm thinking like things like you're an asshole you're a traitor you're a bad person or you you lied during all of this time again for the facts I know that it's logical for me to feel like that and it's logical with the facts. When I watch Sauron, I want to be like, he's a villain, he's the evil, it's everything which is bad into this world, he's really evil in one person, like he's like that. I want to feel like that. When I saw Albron Sauron at the end, I was like, you're an asshole, you're a traitor, you're bad. That's not enough and that's not what I want to feel about Sauron. I don't want to think that Sauron is an asshole. I want to... Oh, it's not good. All of the reveal, you know, how it happened, how they wrote it. I think that they wrote it well, you know, all of that confrontation with Galadriel discovering the truth little by little at the same time that he's doing that with the rings. You know, everything is happening right there. And the moment on itself, you know, the fact that he tried to play with her mind, with her brother, with also playing with her, feeling guilty of stuff and all. I think that it was really well written for the moment on itself, for what they wanted to do on itself. It was well written and it was also impressive on screen, you know, the pictures and all. So for the moment on itself, it was well done, but it's really, yes, the, the idea behind that, that I don't approve that it's not like it's unacceptable, I'm not going to watch the show anymore and oh, not at all. It's really a personal thing for me, on me, it's not working. For the story, it's working. For what they did visually and all the scenes that are working. But again, it's really something personal. For me, it's not. Now I can just hope, you know, that during the season two, they really gonna make him evolve fast and they're really gonna make me feel soon what I want to feel when it's about Sauron. The feelings that I'm supposed to feel watching Sauron on screen, they are so not there right now that they need to make me feel like that really quick in the beginning of the season two because if not you know that part of the story is not gonna work on me the other ones you know you saw it the Gandalf and Nori part it's gonna work on me even if I would have loved that quest to not be you know right on like that it's gonna work on me and all of the forge thing you know I cannot wait to discover how the other rings they're gonna be forged and all I cannot wait to discover that so it's gonna be cool to discover that again I really think that the fact that me thinking that we would finish this season with just seeing Sauron's end or Sauron's back like I did not want him to appear just like that I did not want to see his face I didn't want anything like that. I wanted really like him appearing, just a shadow appearing. And the fact that I wanted that, I think that it's the proof, you know, of what I wanted, you know, for so long to be like that feeling that I'm talking to you about. Really the fact that I wanted it only at the end and only that, only such a little and you know, like really a shadow on screen and all, it's telling you that feeling, that impression, that emotion that I wanted to feel with Sauron and that for sure you didn't see me feeling with Albron.
even after the river. That thing at the beginning, you know, <laughs> to say that the stranger was so wrong, you saw it, I was so glad. Oh, you played with my heart so much. You know, I was prepared to be disappointed. So to have that little thing that it turned up that maybe I was wrong and in fact they would not do what at 90% they would do. I was, you know, sure that they would do. I jumped on it, you know. But for sure it was not that. <laughs> and for sure also during the entire episode they played with that. The stranger a brand who is so wrong but to play with it only at the end uh, I mean, you know, just for the final episode you should have played it with it earlier during all of this time I never thought, you know, that the stranger was so wrong <coughs> at any point you know, it's weird because sometimes I have the impression to not feel like most of the viewers are feeling like really some viewers thought that the stranger could be so wrong before the beginning of this episode and the fact that their reveal at the end for Gandalf and for Sauron is not a really reveal it's just the confirmation of what the fans thought I don't know if it's a good sign or not for the show I think that it's a good sign in the sense that they respected that universe and they respected what is written on the books but for the suspense you know that they tried to create around that I'm not sure that it's a good sign My conclusion you know for the entire season visually it looked so great it was impressive since the beginning and until the end I'm gonna say it visually this show is amazing the musics are also really great same all along this season it was so cool the stories that they chose to create you know around you know Galadriel, Albron, Sauron all of that part, all of that quest the forge also with Elrond, with Durin, all of that and all of the things around the stranger and Nori to choose you know these stories to create stuff around that that was a good idea, that was well done it's not really, you know, the characters, the stories or the conclusions that I have issues with. It's really the process of these stories that I have issues with. I have an issue with you presenting the Stranger narrative arc as a mystery, as a quest, when it was not. If you didn't make such a mystery around it, we would have just, you know, little by little confirmed that it was Gandalf to have that at the end and I think that it's a little the same in fact for Albrand and Sauron it's not the story or the character which is an issue it's really what you did with it the fact that you didn't play enough with his dark side the fact that you printed him I mean you represented him too much like an heroic character romantic one and all during all of this time and it's only during this episode and maybe a little during the last one that you're playing a little with his darkness and, and really yes I don't want to think that Sauron is an asshole I want to think that he's evil you know that he's bad all of the bad things into this world and for now I'm just like you're an asshole <laughs> it's not good I'm really blaming the process, yes. You know how to write characters and you know how to write amazing friendships between characters. If something is really right into this show, it's how they're writing friendships. They made so many good ones, it's so cool. So you know how to write characters, you know how to write friendships, relationships between characters. You know what story you wanted to tell and you told them great you know for the facts for really what is happening the action moments it really more the process and the things that you wanted us to feel which are not functioning you wanted us really to to not guess that it was Gandalf it's not functioning you wanted us really to not think that it was so wrong that Albron was so wrong it's not functioning you wanted to make Albrand's evolution like at the end is revealed as being the evil and that's it, we are frightened, we are afraid of him it's not functioning see, 
it's really the process that I criticize. Tell me what did you think about this episode and for sure about the entire season. Was it what you expected? Was it satisfying for you? If you are a fan, you know, an hardcore fan or also a regular fan like me, what did you think of it, of that first season? What do you think about the season 2? Are you gonna watch it? And with what feeling you know at the beginning? Are you gonna expect a lot from it because that first season fully satisfied you? Or are you gonna lower down maybe your expectations? How do you feel really about this episode for sure, but really also about the entire season? If you are thinking about it without making comparisons with House of the Dragon, just to judge it for what it is, a show okay based on the Lord of the Rings universe, but really trying to not compare it to the movies because it's not fair, to not compare it with House of the Dragon because same, it's not fair, to judge it for what it is, tell me your opinion, I'm interested. Okay, it's all for you and for me for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy. <laughs>